Well, it's it's properly winter now, and that we were talking about the training ground, the potential flooding a couple of weeks back. I imagine today a bit hard underfoot. Oh, it is at the minute. Yeah, it's uh, we're not got the players in until about midday today, so we're hoping that um, we get the golden hour this afternoon before it refreezes. The sun's just come out, so I hope hopeful. I think tomorrow is going to be probably similar. Overnight temperatures look the same, so just hope we can get something out of uh, out of today and tomorrow, so that we're well prepared for the weekend. The Abbey's got the covers on it, so uh, I know we're expecting a big freeze, but hopefully the pitch will be okay as well. So, I mean, we've done remarkably really to get to the middle of November, middle of December without an issue, a little bit of rain, but other than that, it's been unbelievably mild. So. Yeah, it feels a lot different today, but hopefully over the next uh, next few weeks we don't get anything too bad, and we can uh, still get some work done between um, between now and the game. Yeah, without wanting to pile any pressure on Ian Dala, he doesn't normally have any issue with these kind of conditions. He always tends to find a way. I think he's got quite a proud record, hasn't he? Of years and years where he's not lost a game to, to Frost. I think so. Yeah, um, but I mean, over the years we've got a little bit more resource as well. Now we've got some heat lamps to put on the pitch. We've got some covers that are, that are fairly good. So. We're hopeful that we'll, um, we'll be all right. They stayed late after the game on Tuesday and prepared the pitch and covered it. So uh, hopefully we avoid the frost getting in there. I know the covers only work to a certain temperature, but hopefully we're in that, in that uh, area and we can, um, we can get the game on at the weekend. I don't think there are any worries about that, really. Um, our concern is just now making sure that we can try and prepare the team as best we can for that. Yeah, and ahead of this one, it perhaps doesn't make for the most exciting interview, but I guess it's a case of doing what you've been doing previously and that you've been working hard you've been working on certain things it doesn't necessarily make for for a lively discussion but that's where you're at yeah I mean the only the only difference really is I think is um it will probably look a different game to what the others have you know we've, we've had a lot of games recently where we've been um lion's share of possession or very very even in terms of that side of the game we play against a really top team with possession dominant team so it may have a little bit more of a counter-attacking element to it as opposed to a a, a more in possession game uh, potentially so we, we have to be ready for that and prepare ourselves for that and that might suit us a little bit more but at the same time as that you know there'll be plenty of moments in the game where we have got the ball and I think we've got to find the balance in our game of um, how we build attacks how we create chances you know a lot of our game is built around finding the front of the team and playing off of Joey um, and in recent weeks we're trying to build a little bit more so that there's less bodies in and around him of the opposition so we can get him the ball in a cleaner situation because there's certainly been a game where when we find the front and teams put three or four players around him it's, it's not easy to build off of him so we've got to find a bit more variety in our attacking play in order to um, be a creative team in the attacking half of the pitch and, and give him more chance and more service with the ball. And we've got to recognise this weekend, I think, when are our moments to build and when are our moments to break on the opposition because the, the game will probably provide us both of those challenges, I think. Yeah, and looking for those small victories, past couple of games you've scored a couple of goals. I don't know, you might not feel that that's necessarily worth a huge amount if you don't go and get the wins, particularly with the drama at the back end of the game last week. But it, it is a step forward in that... I suppose as well, both of the goals nicely constructed. Yeah, I thought the goal against Forest Green was excellent. And, and look, we don't deserve to lose that game by any stretch of the imagination. And um, we all knew at the time it wasn't a penalty. And it's no help to us when we get the email apologising from the referee in the FA this week saying that they made a mistake because it doesn't it doesn't do anything to help us in that moment. So we get robbed of a point really in the game, which is frustrating, but probably sums up a little bit where we are. Um, those things haven't gone for us in certain situations. So just have to get on with it and move on and, and take the fact from the game that we started that game very well. If we score first goal in it, we, we'd probably get ourselves even more control in there. Um, we can see the goal that we're frustrated with and the game drifted a little bit, which we've got to avoid that happening. Uh, but we finished the game strongly and I thought the goal was brilliantly worked and executed by the boys that came off the bench. And um, it, it was probably the sort of goal that deserved something from it, and the late stages that it came, we thought we, we secured ourselves a point, which would have been which would have been good for us in in the situation that we're in. But to lose it was a real kick in the what's it? So we have to just get on with it now and move on to the next bit.